Now, as a son of a retired military major, right. I mean, I, I appreciate that, but a lot of the soldiers haven't been getting the treatment veterans that they should have gotten when they've come home. Right. Right. And there's been calls for resignations. Right. And Shinseki, right. Mr. Shinseki, and he said he's not going to resign. Do you think that he should? And if he doesn't, would you be inclined to remove him? Well, let, let me first of all say uh, that the greatest honor I have is, is serving as commander in chief. Um, the, the more I see our military, I was just at West Point mm -hmm. yesterday, uh, seeing newly commissioned officers coming out of there, and they are so dedicated, so patriotic, so smart. You see young leaders out in war theaters taking charge of uh, and responsibility for uh, such big decisions, life or death decisions. Uh, they've, they've earned not just our respect, but they've earned our support when they come home. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this administration, I can honestly say, has in, in you know, very specific measurable terms done more or as much for our veterans as any administration in history. I mean, we have massively increased uh, funding. We have put in more mental health folks to deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. We've cut the rate of veterans homelessness by 25 percent. We have uh, expanded uh, the post-9-11 GI Bill so they can go back to school. Michelle and Joe Biden are working with military families in unprecedented ways. So there's a lot we're proud of. But the VA, the Veterans Administration, for a long time has had problems with backlogs. You know, once they get into the health care system, they're really satisfied with it. The health care system, uh, the VA health care system does a really good job. Mm -hmm. But just getting in the system has just been uh, a problem, uh, just like their backlogs on disability claims that ha we've cut in half but are still way too high. And, and so there's just a lot of inefficiency. And uh, you know, the latest news about these waiting lists and maybe some folks cooking the books is just one example of that. We are fully investigating what's happening. We're going to get to the bottom of it and we're going to fix it. Uh, I will say, you know, Eric Shinseki is a uh, American hero, a wounded vet, somebody who led our troops during very difficult times um, and cares about veterans more than just about anybody I know. Um, uh, yeah. He's going to report back to me on what he's seen, and uh, I'll have a serious conversation with him about whether uh, he thinks that uh, you know, he is prepared and has the capacity to take on the job of fixing it, because I don't want any veteran to not be getting the kind of services that they deserve. Yeah, I don't think any of us do.